Hey guys, today I'm here to do my review of Lair of Dreams and this is the sequel to The Diviners by Robert Gray. So I'm just going to tell you what The Diviners is about. So boom in the synopsis up. So yeah, Diviners. So I'll just read the synopsis of the Diviners. <laughs> so it, this, this series is about a girl called about Amy and she's been exiled from her mom and god hometown and shipped off to the whistling streets of New York City. And she's positively ecstatic. It's 1926 and New York is filled with speakeasies, Zigfield girls and wreckage pickpockets. The only catch is that she has to live with her uncle Will and his unhealthy obsession with the occult. Even when we to discover her darkest secret, a supernatural power that has only brought her trouble so far. But when the police find the murdered girl branded with a cryptic symbol and Will is called to the scene, Evie realises her gift could help her catch a serial killer. So on to my review of Well Dreams. Lair of Dreams is not is not quite as good as its magical prequel, the well the magical first part. The Divanas. I put it is the way of your second book. One so easily drawn into this alternate nineteen twenties New York City that Liverpool has created. They are new places, new horrors, and new mysteries, and yet beneath it all. The book maintains the pole introduced by the diviners. I can sum it up in one completely underrated word atmosphere. Um, I'm just going to tell you a synopsis. They're too tired for bathing, but they are synopsis type of dreams. The dreams, too, are ghost desi- desires. Dreams and sleep. Gone by morning. I'm going to put the book Gone by morning. The longing of this of dreams are towards the dead, and the city holds many dreams. Bray has laid the fictional supernatural story into a very real hor- historical setting and it works beautifully. The historical aspects are full of what we would expect from this era. Flatters, jazz, spookies, illegal liquor, as well as the darker side, racism, suspicion and fear. Libba Bray has chosen her words carefully, making you almost able to smell the air and hear jazz music playing somewhere in the distance. Into this setting comes a supernatural, this time featuring a sleeping sickness and dream walkers, and it is no less atmospheric than the historical imagine that alongside the jazz club swappers in speakeasies, there also exists a world of ghosts, diviners and the occult. Imagine New York in all its wonderful messy glory, full of mysteries, full of supernatural. The atmosphere was as strong as I remember. I was also thrilled to see the familiar characters of Evie, Sam and Jericho in this book. Though this book, though there appeared less in this book to make room for Ling, George and Henry. The Diviners was the worst of the five star book. This one, however, just missed out because the supernatural mystery wasn't quite as strong or de- deliciously creepy as the last one. And really, who can complete with Naughty John? Not that it wasn't an engaging and frightening idea. In slip their fingers stiffen as they try to fight back against the terror invading their minds. For the dream knows their fears are as well as their desire. It can make them see anything. Unspeakable nightmares surround them and now. The Diviners is a difficult book to follow, that's for sure, but I don't think fans will be disappointed. Also, Lair of Dreams is very difficult as well. I don't like cover change. I seriously do not like cover change. And I gave this book a uh, liking it. Four out of five stars. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And um, bye!